Guys, so we're gonna go through a few things. How big should your cage be? How do you teach a dog or manage a dog who actually has good manners? All I'm gonna do is walk you through other stuff we talked about. You've got a puppy. Before you teach a dog even its name or a lot of times sit, stay, down, lay, chill, whatever you're working on, <laughs> you want that dog to be in that crate, especially if it's a puppy, because we know puppies will tear a house up. They'll chew the corners off walls. They'll chew all the, the, the things that vibrate when the door goes back. They will chew paper. They will chew bed sheets. They will chew cushions. They will chew anything. A lot of times because they're teething, so it's not the worst thing in the world. So Shoes. Shoes. My shoe chewed up one time a $550 pair of Yeezys. Okay, just I, I went took a nap, woke up, the back of my Yeezy was gone. I'm extremely tight, people. I'm still tight to this day, if you can't tell. Zara's the dog who has um, the best manners. So, forgive the room. It's a little junky. I had to get some stuff out of storage. The pups are in here. But anywho, watch this. She's on a bit. Put her in the cage. Come on. Let's go. What you doing? The girl. So, she gets in there and she rests. Now, same thing for the dogs out there. In back? No, in, in outside. Yeah, they should be in the... No, I'm saying they're not. No, 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 they're not. Okay, so the dog's in the house. The other thing... Come on, Mom. Come on. Hey. See it? In the cage. You see that there? So what you also see is she understands. All right. You see that paw come out? All right, get back in there. Go, go. Now, two things. Let me be very clear. We've been working on Zara's diet because she has bad ears. So you say, hey, man, she she is a little skinnier than we, we'd like her to be. But I, she's with me for the next two weeks. She does not live with me. I said, hey, get her cool. She's chewing on the paws. I got to clean her feet. It's a whole thing. But you say, hey, how do I get it? You good, mom. Come on. Go lay down. Come on. Come on. Go lay down. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Point is this, people. The things that I worked on early on was making sure that this dog trusted me. And part of that trust, as she's doing right now, is looking for hope and direction. There's nothing that I can't do with Zara and because of Zara. So you say, <clears throat> hey, how do I teach my dog to do that? For one, patience, people. This is a four-year-old dog. And mind you, where she lives, she don't even have a cage. So I bought the cage because these pups are in here and I want to make sure, I won't say everything's safe, but like, see, I'm not worried about her hurting no pup. But pups are annoying, <laughs> to be clear. I love pups. The Frenchies, they, they, they're they a different creature. I'm gonna tell you that right now. First thing is, how big should the cage be? When she gets in there, she can raise her head. She can raise her head and the hick top, she's good. When she lays down, she can stretch out. Irony is, as most dogs get relatively cold, believe it or not, even though the temperature's between 101 and 102.5, they will ball up nine out of 10 times. So when you go in there, they're normally either stressed out because they're comfortable and they stretch out often when they come from exercise or they've done a little work. And then when they're like cooled off per se, they 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 like this. They ball up to stay warm. How big should the cage be? My opinion should be able to stretch out. Dog should be able to stand up. Next, you say, how do you teach your dog patience? Well, you didn't hear me yell. You didn't hear me fuss. She understood exactly what I was asking. And no, she does not speak English. She speaks dog. But what she does speak is care. What she does speak is 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 uh, routine. What she does speak is practice. And when you practice good habits, she's the kind of dog that will wait in that cage if you tell her to do something. <sighs> and, and that's that. Now, I've not had her. She does not live with me. When we're all said and done, she will live with me. But objectively, she still understands me. And so she knows it's like, hey, I'm in the cage for now. She'll go in there, but for the most part, she's out in the room. She'll be out for forever i really honestly if i'm being honest bought the cage too so that she can have a place to eat <laughs> raw food as you know it gets a little bloody and it's a little red and there's been plenty of times where she'll just want to go in there and even lay down see nobody told her to do that <laughs> so patience practice discipline what are you practicing cage now the dog just got it first stay in the crate you got to get hip to the crate and that's even if you forcing them in second build value What's the most valuable thing you could give a dog to build value? Food. So mind you, next phase is if I feed them in the crate, guess what? They go in there a little bit more, a little easier. We showed you with Cha Cha, use some treats at times. I don't, I have treats in the room, but I didn't use no treats to talk to Zara. Because now that we're past the, 
value treats uh, uh, breaking the cage and Zara used to be so loud she hit the crazy so bad you could hear her on the third floor of an apartment building outside parking your car she hated the crate it was like you got it you got it you got no choice you got no choice we, we we've got to figure this out because she also chews some stuff up you come back and you'd be like I remember bringing some Panera back about to eat and she had got out and wrecked the whole place some said, well, what did you do on a walk we went on the two mile walk you think you got to come back and beat your dogs behind after the fact no 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 I, and this is when i was learning i was reforming myself to be clear let me just be honest <laughs> if you want to come back and drop an elbow to people's elbow but you go huh she hasn't done anything i've kept her more more after the relatively active she normally gets two walks a day she ain't been on one walk it is my fault that she wanted to get out the cage and be active had i walked her two miles or in some change she might have just been in there for you know the few hours she had to be there while I was gone, but instead she's all charged up. And it'd be like locking a kid in a room that just woke up for five hours. He might go back to sleep or she might go back to sleep, but they also might find something to do. You come back in and the whole, all the walls got color on them. They even painted the walls with a permanent marker. You, what did you do? Oh, I felt like drawing. You go, on the wall? Now you gotta go get paint and it turns into a whole task because you didn't give the, do the kid, the dog, <laughs> the kid something to do. So, crate size. Measure your dog's withers. Go from the head and say, okay, that's comfortable. Some people believe a smaller crate early on does what? Helps keep the dog from peeing or pooping. I'm not gonna tell you that that's true or false. I'm gonna tell you it depends on the dog because if a dog wants to crap in his cage, it will crap in his cage, roll in his crap, and then you will just be cleaning the dog up every time you get a chance. Cha-Cha is living proof. <laughs> and Bam Bam. Uh, and an uh, ego's grown, but if he has to go and has an accident, I'm telling you right now, he gonna roll in it just because he's a prick. Second, patience. I have a stool and I believe in using stools because I'll sit down and talk to the dog and, and, and feed the dog. And every time you feed the dog, uh, use dog, use treats, it builds more value. It builds more value with the dog. So you turn around and I'll sit here and the dog will go in his crate when it's accustomed being fed there. And it'll sit there and look at you. And that's when you set the food down. You say, you at wait, wait. And then you turn around and do what? You set the food down. You say, go ahead and eat. Boom. And mind you, this isn't you controlling the dog. This is you building communication and trust. And the more you talk to your dog, the stronger you guys will get. The more clear things will become. The easier it will be to live with that dog for the next 10 years. Zara is four years old. And growing. <laughs> And I don't mean growing because <laughs> she's going to get bigger. I mean growing just because I'm growing and learning as many ways as possible to improve her quality of life. Because right now we're in an allergy state. How do I deal with her allergies? She's chewing on the paws. I'm going to do a video on cleaning her paws. And, and we've got our five strands that I'm going to definitely go send out today. And a few other things we're going to do. But for now, people, take care of your dogs. Crate height. Depends on how tall your dog is. Make sure your dog can stand up and stretch out. Uh, training the dog to use the crate practicing habits comment below and let us know if you want to see a few more things that i did to get her to trust that the crate's a safe place and it's okay and i didn't have to beat her into submission it was realistically me slowly but surely building value people take care of your dogs tv here with fit bully tv we appreciate you watching